Hello everyone, I hope you're keeping safe and welcome to another edition of Snodden's Bedtime Stories. Tonight I'll be reading Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim. But his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots of trees. But then he tried to run around. He buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance. Where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. This year when they day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad. Because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing. And the rhinos rock and roll. The lions danced the tango that was elegant and bold. Chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin fill and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish grill. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He had never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed the cricket, who had seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music, if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes. I am dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then, one by one, each animal who had been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They 
shouted, it's a miracle, we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Hope you enjoyed the story and don't forget to tune in tomorrow for another edition of Snod